What should I do when the power is off? When you realize the power is out, the first thing to remember is to not open the refrigerator. The longer you keep the door closed, the longer the food will stay cold enough to be safe. A full freezer should be safe for about two days without power if the door stays closed. So if you expect the power to come back on shortly or the freezer to be repaired quickly, just keep the doors closed. Purchasing dry ice is another option. 50 pounds of dry ice should keep an 18 cubic foot freezer safely cold for two days if the freezer's full. Use heavy gloves to handle that dry ice. It's so cold it will burn you. A half full freezer will keep food safe for about one day. That's because all the air space in there will warm up more quickly. If you live where the power is more likely to be off during a storm season, it's a good idea to keep the freezer full of water. Rather than fill it with extra food that could spoil, just use bottles of water. Fill them about three quarters full so the jugs don't break when the water expands. If the freezer's working but the refrigerator died, you can transfer freezable items to the freezer. Use what you can as soon as possible, but think about what you'll need. Take as much out at one time as you can and open the door as little as possible. If necessary, transfer food to coolers full of ice. Use one cooler for foods and drinks you'll reach for often, and another for storage. The less you have to open a cooler, the longer the food and the ice will last. For more fast answers to safe food questions, check out our other FAQs on our website, hillsborough.ifas.ufl.edu, and search on safe food.